Hello, good day and welcome to today's class. Today, we shall be looking at parallelogram and intercept theorems. My name is Kabiru Abdul Kadir. So now moving on, we have parallelogram. Let's look at some of the things we need to know under parallelogram. Parallelogram is a quadrilateral with, four, with two pairs of parallel sides. Now the next one is the opposite sides are equal in length and the opposite angles are equal in measures. Now let's look at properties of parallelograms. We have four properties of parallelograms here. The first one is the opposite sides are parallel. That's line X, W is parallel to line Y, Z or line X, Y is parallel to line W, Z. So the second one now is the opposite sides are congruent. Congruency means they are equal in length. Now the third one is the opposite angles are equal to each other. Thus, angle X is equal to angle Z, and angle Y is equal to angle W. Now, finally, any two adjacent angles add up to 180 degree. That is, angle X plus angle Y will give us 180 degree. Angle X plus angle W will give us 180 degree. Angle W plus angle Z will give us 180 degree. Then, angle Y plus angle W will give us 180 degree. Now, Calculations under parallelograms include perimeter and then area. Let's start with the perimeter. They said find the perimeter of the parallelogram below. So if you want to find the perimeter, we all know that perimeter is the addition of all the sides of any shape. So now perimeter here is 2 bracket A plus B. Our A is 8 centimeter and our B is 12 centimeter. So adding 8 and 12 now gives 20. So 2 times 20 will give us 40 centimeter. Now, we'll now move to area of parallelogram. Areas of parallelogram can be gotten in two ways. We have a situation where height is given, and then we have a situation where angle is given. So we are going to use the two here. They say calculate the area of the following parallelogram, A. So if you look at A here, we have height. So we have a formula to be based on height. Our base is 21 centimeter and our height is 7 centimeter. So when you multiply the two, you have 147 centimeter square. And that is the area of the first parallelogram here. Now the next one is an angle is given instead. So we have 106 to be our angle. Our base is 18 centimeter. So the, the formula of calculating area in this case is AB sine theta. Your A is 8 centimeter, your B is 7 centimeter. Why you have sine 106 degree? Sine 106 is 0 0.9613. So when you multiply it by 18 and 7, you get 121.1 centimeter square. Don't always forget your square unit. So now we are done. So we'll just move straight to intercept theorems. There are very, very important theorems that we need to look at. The first one is if three or more parallel lines cut off equal intercept on a transversal, then they cut off equal intercept on any other transversal. So forget the English there, just look at the mathematical interpretation. We have three parallel lines and then we have two transversals that divides them. So what they are saying now is that we have our line AB is the same thing as our line BC. And similarly, our line XY is the same thing as line YZ. Or you can just go ahead and say line AB over line xy is the same thing as line bc over line yz. So moving on to the second theorem, they said a line drawn through two sides of a triangle parallel to the third side divides the two sides in the same ratio. So what we are saying now is that if we have a triangle xyz and we have a line that has that is drawn inside the triangle to divide to divide the angle into two, which means we have line AB, which is the one there. And then line AB is also parallel to line YZ. So in a nutshell, if it happens this way, then uh, XA over AY is the same thing as XB over BZ. So moving on to the next theorem, which is called the midpoint theorem. Now, what we are saying here is that the line joining the midpoints of two sides of a triangle is parallel to the third side and equal to half of it. So what we are saying now is that if we have 
a triangle which is a b and c and then we have a line that is joining side a b and side a c and this line is named as m n so in a nutshell it means line m n is parallel to line b c as we can see from this diagram and then line m n which happens to be shorter than b c is now half of b c now the fourth theorem is angle bisector theorem and then in angle bisector theorem they say the bisector of an angle is a triangle in a triangle divides the opposite side in the ratio of the sides containing the angle so if we have triangle ABC and we have a line XY that has divided the triangle into two, then it means line AB over line AC is the same thing as line BX over line XC. All this can be very, very understood when we solve one example and we have a very good example here. They said in figure, in the figure below, line CB is parallel to line CD and line BX is a bisector of angle ABC. Use the given dimensions to calculate AX and XC. So we have a triangle here, in fact two triangles, one inside the other one. We have triangle ABE and triangle ABC. So in this case now we are asked to find line AX and line XC. So now, what we'll do now is to start with uh, triangle A, D, and C. So we are going to have line AC over line CE to be equal to line AB over line BD. So we don't know our AC, we don't know our line AC, but we know our line CE to be seven and a half, and we know our line AB to be six, and we know our line bd to be 9. So by the time we cross multiply and make ac subject of the formula, we are going to have 5 centimeter. So similarly, we are going to have line ab over line ad is equal to line bc over line de. We have our line ab to be 6, ad to be 15. We don't know bc, but we have de to be 10. So when you cross multiply and make BC subject of the formula, you have 4 cm. So now moving on, for us to find our XC now, we have to start by saying line AB over line BC is equal to line AX over line XC. Angle by sector in uh, triangle ABC. So what we'll do now is we have known our AB to be 6, our BC to be 4, our AX we don't know, our XC we have calculated the whole of the whole of AC to be 5 cm but we are looking for XC so what we'll do is to remove that 5 from whatever we are going to have in our AX so when you do that you cross multiply and then you solve you are going to have 5 3cm 3 cm there and our AC is already 5 so when you remove 3 cm from it you have 2 cm left so that is the value for your line XC so now we have a very short assignment and then in this assignment they said triangle ADC has been cut by line BC which is now parallel to DE so they have given us some values they said line AB is 6 cm line AC is 5 cm, line AE is 7 cm, and line BC is 4 cm. So you will now calculate line AD and line DE. Thank you very much for your time.